Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial we will work the mystery poncho. I use the concept Pure Degradé by Katia and uh, this is a, a medium weight yarn and we will use a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook or size I. For the size small which I'm wearing in the photos I use four cakes of yarn and I use uh, two for the front panel and two for the back panel. The construction of the poncho is super easy. We will have to work two rectangles front and back. Both rectangles are the same and then we will stitch and the letting the neckline, the neck opening and the bottom opening and the rest of the <coughs> the rectangles will be stitched together and basically you'll have in this way some sleeves. Uh, if you want to customize this uh, poncho you will just have to measure cuff to cuff and see the length uh, or the width of the rectangle and of course measuring the length and uh, this is how many rows you'll have to repeat. The stitch pattern that we will be uh, using is a um, combination of stitches. It will be a seven row, uh, six row repeat and now I will start by chaining 133 stitches okay so now I uh, chain 3 and in the 5th stitch of the chain you will start making double crochet stitches and you will have to work one double crochet into each of the following stitches. So I will just continue and work one double crochet into each stitch. Remember that you will use a different weight yarn or another crochet hook. You'll have to adjust the number of uh, uh, you'll have to adjust the number of stitches that you are working with. And this pattern requires uh, three plus one stitches. So take into consideration this. Now the next row we will chain one and then one single crochet into the first stitch then chain 4 and we will skip the next two stitches I think I skipped 3 so just 2 stitches you'll have to skip I will check now the pattern to see exactly how many stitches I will have to skip <laughs> so yes only 2 stitches and in the third you will do a single crochet and then chain 4 skip the next two stitches and one single crochet into the next and we will repeat this section until the end of the round of row <laughs> So remember that you will have to follow the same pattern for the second uh, rectangle. We will work only the repeated uh, rows here because there is no point to uh, do it more as it's the same. We will finish the row with chain 4 and one single crochet into the third stitch. And now we will chain 5 and then go into the first four chain space and make one single crochet then chain four go into the next four chain space and make one single crochet and we will repeat until the end of the row We will uh, finish this row with chain 2 and 1 double crochet into the last single crochet and then chain 1 and turn and single crochet into the first stitch 
then chain 4, go into the next 4 chain space and make one single crochet. Chain 4 and another single crochet into the next 4 chain space. And we will repeat until the end of the row. On my website, and I will add the link into the description below, you can find a written pattern. It's a free version of my website. And there you can also find a, a crochet chart for the stitch pattern that we are using here. So in case you will find it useful, you can check it out. Okay, we will finish the row with chain 4 and into the third chain we will do a single crochet. Now we will chain 3 and into each 4 chain space <coughs> sorry, we will work 3 double crochet stitches. So into each 4 chain space 3 double crochet and we will repeat this until the end of the row. At the end of the row, so in the last 4 chain space, because uh, I wanted to have a straight edge, I will work only 2 double crochet and the third into the last single crochet over here. And now we will start the next row. <coughs> Sorry, I don't know why I'm losing my voice. With chain 3, then 1 double crochet into the next stitch, chain 1, and skip 1 double crochet, and then work 1 double crochet into the next 2 stitches, chain 1, skip next double crochet, and 1 double crochet into the next 2 stitches. And we will repeat this until the end of the row. We will finish this row with chain 1 and 1 double crochet into the third stitch. And this will be the section that you will see repeated, but now because the first row in double crochet wasn't basically the, uh, it was into the foundation uh, chain, so now we will work one, another double crochet row and we will consider that one or this one that uh, we are working the last row of the repeated section. So we will work now one double crochet into each stitch until the end of the row. And we will repeat <coughs> this section. So from row 2 up to row 7 until you will get to the desired length of the poncho or until you have 31 rows in total. These were the number of rows that I worked for the front panel and for the back panel. And we will do the same on the second rectangle and this is where I have both rectangles place one on top of the other and now you will have to measure the neckline. I had approximate 21 centimeters and this meant uh, 23 stitches and for the bottom I left 53 stitches approximate 47 centimeters and the rest of the stitches will be stitched together and basically this was it so I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and you love this uh, poncho it's super easy to make and uh, in case you want to check up the written pattern, you will find a link in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you next time!